Hello everyone, I'm Cam Ingram. I'm with my friend Steven Sirio from the Bond Group. We are here with the Star Car chassis 906-127 for Bring a Trailer in our second edition of Group P. Exactly, uh, the first 906 uh, being offered on Bring a Trailer. We brought the 910 last time. This time the crown jewel of these wonderful 10 cars is this 906. Chassis 127, easy to remember, it's my birthday, wow. some gifts. Um, so yeah, this is an amazing car. Um, so we always talk about these cars because we've, over the last really six, eight years, we both have purchased and done inspections on all the fiberglass cars, 904s, 906s, 910s. Yep. And as you and I both know, when we're looking at these cars, not only are you looking at the quality of the car, we're looking at provenance and documentation. Mm -hmm. And this car has it in folds and spades. This car was bought brand new by Seb Greger, a gentleman who ended up winning the European Hill Climb Championship three times in his 38 career, 38 years in motorsports. And he bought this car directly from the factory to contest the 66 season, ordered it in single red, yep. ends up winning 12 of the 14 races that year. Yeah, this is, um, to say it's iconic in its history is a bit of an understatement. These things, it's a minefield, kids, when you buy a 904, 906, a 910, because dual identity cars uh, certainly exist. Um, cars with, you know, these things were, were wrecked, they were damaged, um, things were built up out of ash, um, all kinds of um, just fake cars. Chicanery. Behoovery. <laughs> Uh, so the, the key to buying any of these, it certainly was with the 910 and now it is even more so with the 906, is documentation. And um, this has it in spades, yeah, as we said. We're not going to get into each and every one of these, but these are the restoration files. Um, uh, Kevin Jeanette did the restoration on this car a handful of years ago. So you've got every single thing that he did heavily documented. More importantly, this goes back to... It documents every race it was in. You know, obviously that 66 was its p pivotal season when SEP won again, 12 of the 14 races, dominating the Hill Climb Championship in the car, um, which is nice to have all this race history fully documented, verifying uh, where he placed, what race, and then ultimately some of the real facts, again, here's its competition history. Man, 66 was a busy year for the guy. And then also documents the ownership history of its entire life of subsequent owners who raced it after him. And I love this piece. It's from Porsche to uh, Seth Greger, really documenting him purchasing the car and saying that they're so excited um, he's gonna be racing at yeah. that, in that period of time. We should get everything that we sell with this kind of documentation <laughs> and uh, and then everybody will still ask questions, but uh, at least you'll have the answers, you know? The That's people that don't read the details. These are the two uh, documents which are really crazy, uh, especially for a race car. The original uh, German Farzig brief and a wagon pass um, yep. when it was racing. And that's, you know, your, your original title, uh, essentially. Yep. So... Import, uh, import uh, papers from Porsche, again, to Sepp Greger uh, with delivery deadline paperwork on that original fragile uh, paper that's so cool to have, facsimile paper. You know, again, this documentation, here's the Cardex. You know, people always say 906s didn't have Cardexes. Well, here they are. We've, yep. we've had these over the years. This 906 Cardex is pretty well documented. It shows the chassis number, the engine number that it was originally delivered with, signal red, and of course, uh, SEPS information. Well, the interesting thing about this is, and you'll, again, uh, get it in the documentation. This car was delivered with engine number 132. And with any race car, engines are going to be changed out. What? The, no yeah, way. I swear to God, they're not all matching numbers. And if they are, somebody did a little matchy-matchy, uh, sort of a not, not in a good way. This is engine number 133 that comes with it. So you're yeah. talking about you know, one digit off from the original motor, which is a small, small miracle. It really is, and this is a proper, legitimate 901 slash 20 motor, 20 motor, which designates it as a 906 with all the magnesium wonderfulness on the engine, and it's just a rare treat. We know because we just finished restoring one of these uh, for Pebble Beach this year. 
So a magical motor, and the benefit you get with this car is you get the second motor that's punched out to a 2.3. It's a 901 engine, yeah. and uh, you know it's it, and this has got plenty of umph uh, because we know because this has done our events in Colorado, uh, our PX to Peak celebrating. Uh, PX creations with the fiberglass race cars. Yeah, this car, to say it's been shaken down over the last uh, handful of years from the last owner is an understatement. I mean, he drove it, he took it to the Invitational, he took it to PX to Peak. Um, it, was, it was used and properly used, properly maintained. So it is really a turnkey thing now with bulletproof history on the frame, on the engine that's in it, and again, the restoration work. Um, it's, it's got its FIA paperwork, you know, it's got the engine, the spare engine 2.3 built by the 901 shop in Florida. Um, there's the amazing restoration by Kevin Jeanette Gunnar Racing, who touched so many of these special fiberglass cars over the years. And using, This is neat. Yeah, yeah, tell that story. That's one of the best parts of the whole thing. So uh, two owners ago, when they did the restoration on the car, the car was reunited with uh, Mr. Sepp. Mr. Joseph Kreger, and he had the wheel. He had the original wheel still in uh, in his little collection of parts and memories, and he gifted it um, yeah. to an owner, two owners ago. And this goes with, so there are pictures of him reunited with the car during the restoration. Yeah. Uh, there are just countless bits of history in here. Uh, there's Seth the, back in the day, hill climbing. Isn't that cool? Yeah, this is, this is really quite remarkable. Which is neat is I hope the next care, potential caretaker, you know, the gentleman who ended up buying the 910 off our last group P sale is rushing potentially to have that car at Ren Sports. So it's, it would be great to see this car continue. This would be an event ticket for one of our events at Road Scholars. Of course, you can do almost so many things with this car, with its FII papers. Uh, there's so, there's, it's an open, window if if you will of event and experiential tickets oh, yeah. so so go have it go do your tour auto go do uh take it to goodwood take you know race the car anywhere you'd like because there are there are uh classes for this vehicle and you shouldn't just be watching it in ford versus ferrari you should own one Ooh. you know oh there you go Whoa, so well, see come cool. on who yeah. drop that on yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. so I think, yeah, I, I think if anybody's yes. looking for a 906. Yeah, you need this parked right next to your 918 Spider. Yeah, yeah That's you like do. the perfect bookends. <laughs> Boom, I'd, I'd be happy. Early and late. Early and late. <laughs> Anyways, it's up for grabs. Group P, enjoy everyone. Thanks for watching. Thank you.